Hello parents, this is Miss Jessie and I am so happy that you decided to join today to understand how to read your student progress math report. These are the reports that we use to show growth at the school and to focus on what our goals are for our students. So this is a sample report here in front of you and I'm going to walk you through the different parts of this report. Upon first glance, you can see that it is definitely broken up into four sections, math, language arts for reading, and then we have language arts, language usage, which is your grammar, your writing skills, um, your punctuation, your compound sentences and those things. We also have science, and that is why our students take four exams during every term of this time. The only students who do not take four exams are our 10th grade students, and their scores read just a little differently for math and reading. They do not take the language usage. So here we have our different graphs and charts. You have a graph for every single time they've taken the test. This student took a test in the fall of 2018, the winter of 2019, the spring of 2019, the fall of 2019, the winter of 20, and then spring 20, you have a bar here. Well, let's pay attention. This is their math score. When you see the blue, the blue is what the students score on their math exam. This student scored a 205 in the fall. What we see is the next test they took, they did a 205. But in the spring, they went up to 219, which is really good because we're looking for progress. What happened though, after spring in 2019, when they came back to school in the fall, they dropped 10 points to a 209. And then in the winter, they went back to a 209 again. We did not take a spring 20 exam because of the COVID situations. So now we have what's going on right here is this kind of dotted line. This dotted bar graph means this is their projection and their goal. What happens is that we get rated and we look at students hitting their goal. So from this test here from 209, we needed our student to hit a 215 goal for our next exam. And that is what we're looking at. When we look at this, we're only looking at what our goal is and if our students are progressing up to that goal. So when we talk about how high a student has scored, that means one thing. We first look to see at what number they scored and can they hit their goal. That is called our progress goals and that is one reason why we celebrate the progress. We celebrate our students getting better and better and better. We don't celebrate the high achieving scores until they are consistent across. For this one, you see that it dropped down. So that's why we really focus on getting better and better and better. Now, let's go back to our colors. This blue is your student score. This orange is district grade level mean. This is the average for the district, our district being UAE Dubai. So this is the average. Here was a 205. Well, the average was 209. So this student is just four points below the average. Now we look and we see this yellow bar. This is norm grade level mean. This is all the children in the world. So this yellow bar represents the norm or the average for all the children in the world who've taken the MAP exam. And that's why that information is important. You see the same things over here, except it's written out. You see these numbers here in bold, that's the actual scores that you have and it goes all the way back. And it also has what section they were in. The score here and here to the side is the error. In case there was any possible error, that means that this is exactly where they would have scored in between these pieces. So no score is ever a perfect score. It's the score that's most likely for it to be, and that's the one in the bold. The other thing that you wanna look at over here is your percentile range. In the 20, winter 20, while in seventh grade A, this student scored a 209, which was in the 20th percentile range, which means that she fell in the 20th 
which means that about 80% of those students at that grade level scored better than she did. But she scored better than 19% of those, she or he in this sample piece. So that's how you read your scores. And this is the same for all four sections for you to understand how to read your scores. Now, the other sheet of paper that we will be sending you is something called the norm data. This explains what map growth norm data overview is. While there's a lot of reading here, what I am going to focus on are these numbers here. This is the achievement norms for 2020, meaning that if I'm looking here at reading student achievement norms for grade five in the fall, the world average is 204.48. That is what we mean by norm. Now, when we go over to the winter, you see that it's gone up to 209.12 because it's calculating the work that it started from the fall and what they've learned. We look at that, but we look and focus on the spring norm data here. What we concerned about as a school is if we were focused on achievement, we will be focused on the spring norm data achievement percentile portion. But I want to reiterate that it's more important for our students to hit their progress goals than their norm data. But if you wanted to know which grade level your child was at, you could turn around and look. I'm going to go here to reading. This child at winter 20 did a 210. I can go back to my norm data and look for reading and look for a 210. So you see 210 is pretty much fifth grade spring. So a child in fifth grade spring is scoring a 210 or you can go sixth grade 210. So that tells me kind of what grade level my child is achieving on and why we're working so hard with exact path because exact path is one of those proof programs that have been taught, trained, and looked at that helps close these achievement gaps. And that's one of the things that we are trying to do here at the school is really close up those achievement gaps. I'm so glad that you stayed along and I was able to answer any questions. I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, please make sure that you notify or contact your correct personnel and we'll be able to help and assist you. Thank you so very much.